Hi, I'm Bobby. And I'm Anna. And we get the opportunity to be a part of Spur Garber's Masters of Spiritual Formation and Leadership Program. I'm a part of Cohort 17. And I'm part of 19. Woot woot. Um, we also uh, work together here at Camp Mishindo. We work in our outdoor education program. So campers come for pretty much a week-long field trip and we get to teach them fun outdoor classes um, Yeah, all winter long, which makes it interesting. It does make it interesting, especially as we've begun to prepare for our upcoming residency in January in Arizona. There's lots of books to read, and in the midst of the books we're reading for our current classes as well, it's been cool to see how those texts have interacted with each other. Um, but it's been a little bit interesting as we've tried to prepare it in the midst of our everyday lives, you know, which is actually part of what we're discussing in, in yeah. January, is this idea of spirituality in our everyday lives. So we thought, why not bring our studies into our everyday lives? So we thought we'd give you a little bit of a picture of what that's looked like for us. As you can see, it really didn't go so well for us. Instead, we wanted to go straight to the source. Our keynote speaker this year is Nathan Foster. Hello. So we thought the best option possible was just to go and talk to Nathan to figure out from him a little bit more about what to expect for residency. So the topic we're working with? Yeah. Uh, transformation of the human personality, uh, helped by God and then equipped to help others. So we'll start with this idea of how do we become people who live more like Jesus, look more like Jesus. We'll look at the spiritual disciplines, and then this is the part that I'm really interested in um, exploring with you all, is what disciplines correspond to what struggles, difficulties we face in life. And we'll look through some of the, um, some of the, the ancients, and particularly the Desert Fathers, mm -hmm. and how uh, they would connect certain disciplines to certain problems. So then we'll take all that and then begin to look at how then we can be of help to others with that. And um, spiritual formation then, uh, how we walk others through that process, how we learn to be uh, present to others um, uh, as a spiritual discipline, um, but how this kind of, we, the outflow of our life uh, uh, impacts uh, those around us. Sounds incredible. Yeah. Yeah, we're really excited about that. Would you? Seems like a lot better than what we yeah, we're, we're getting there. Yeah. Um, you know would, would you mind going to lunch with us so we can talk about that it a little bit like more? seems like there's so much more sure. to talk about. Yeah, you know? so just, sure, why not? playing dodgeball or talking about the Desert yeah. Fathers, I think we might need a little bit more help. I heard they, they played dodgeball. Yeah? Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, with, yeah. With rocks. Oh, all right. It seems a little more intense. Yeah. We're just we don't play with dodgeball. All right, so well, let's... Lunch, though. Lunch. Yeah, lunch. 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 Yep, yep. Lunch is good, but uh, you don't have any plans this week, do you? Because, you know, now that you're here, we thought it would be better if you just could come back with us and, and come back with you. Yeah. So, like for this week, you know, we're t we've been trying to prepare, but if you could just come and, and show us uh, how to how to bring spirituality into our everyday life while we're at camp, then I think you know we'd be oh. all set. That way, you know, we we have hands-on examples. You're with us as as we go. That makes more sense to us. Yeah, yeah. So I mean, as long I'm, as you're here, we'll just. I'm, I'm glad it makes sense to you. I, I I don't know that it makes sense to me. Oh yeah. yeah oh, do you have things I, that you were doing you know, this week? I I, I, I kind of do have um, oh. a, a life. Oh um, yeah. Hmm. Oh. Yeah. You can't put that on oh. hold for for a week. I mean, you're already in the car, so I, I am. I am to... in the car. Yeah, you your seatbelt um, on. I, I did. My seatbelt. I did. Um, safety. I, I appreciate safety the first. offer, but um, um, how about we connect in uh, uh, January? Oh, in January, oh, Arizona. Yeah. Huh? That, that worked. Sounds, yeah. You got your plane like ticket, Arizona. right? I got it my plane. It makes this a little awkward. Yeah, but it does. It's it not. Does. It's not as. It's too cold to be Arizona, so right. we'll have to get there. So All right. we can still grab lunch, though? Lunch. We'll grab lunch. lunch? Oh, okay, All right. Good. All right. Lunch cool. it is. Yeah. All right. 
So maybe that didn't go exactly how we expected, which no. seems to be pretty on point with how our studies went. Very true. Trying to incorporate them into our everyday lives. <laughs> but one thing that Nathan Foster talks about in his book, The Making of an Ordinary Saint, is the fact that the disciplines really found him in the midst of his ordinary life. That the disciplines are an opportunity for us to turn our attention towards God, to respond to his love in intentional ways and see where he is already at work. Um, and that as we practice the disciplines, that it's a transformation that happens from the inside out. One thing that Nathan talks about is the fact that during the winter season, um, that trees are really busy taking their roots and digging them deep down into the soil looking for nutrients. Um, and that's a metaphor that's been really meaningful to me over the last several months as I've considered a season that is different than one that I maybe would have expected or planned, um, one that's really beautiful, but I've had to kind of see under new frames and new ways the idea that this is an opportunity for me in this season to take my roots and drive them deep into God's streams of living water uh, and allow the fruit to come in its time. Um, and the fact, this plays in really well as well with um, the current class that I'm taking from Professor Mojo, where we're talking about Christian spirituality and everyday life. And we've been reading a book by Walter um, Sizek, and he's been talking about the fact that God's will is not something that's really distant and abstract, but it's something that's right in front of us. Um, it's the 24 hours in, in front of us, the people and events that he brings into our life. Um, and I'm excited for the way that residency will continue to speak into that. I'm excited for the way that people will continue to guide me in figuring out what it means to be faithful to that in the midst of everyday life. Yeah, and so for me, the, that thought of everyday life has been really important. Um, as finishing up my first, or my second class, um, you know, the we just finished reading Richard Foster's book, The Celebration of Discipline, and those disciplines have really allowed me to see God more in a way, and so I really enjoy that, and also that transitions so well into getting ready for residency, the books I'm reading. It's really bringing out this, this idea that they're not the checklist, it's not a things you have to do, but they free you up to get to know God in a much deeper way. And it's, it's really allowed me to see one of my deepest struggles is that I have my will for what I think God's will is, and so this these classes, this learning I'm doing right now is letting me kind of put verbiage to the idea that at, I have, you know, even back in high school, I knew I wanted to be a youth pastor, and so I was going to go to, to college to get my youth ministry degree, and that was going to make me this awesome youth leader. I was going to have kids over, you know, mentor them, disciple them, like all these things, and, you know, make this, you know, just grow my church in such an awesome way. And I, I saw God using me in that way, and that would grow his church and his kingdom. However, God doesn't always work the way we expect him to. Uh, you know, <laughs> we're coming up to Christmas time, I'm, and, you know, Jesus came, and he wasn't this world leader that every, you know, that people thought the Messiah was going to be. And so God took this idea that, you know, the, the Jewish nation had and, you know, kind of turned it upside down and sent a servant instead. And I think God's doing that with me a lot, and that's a lot of what I'm learning, is that he's showing me he wants me to serve him the way he wants me to serve him, not the way I think he wants me to serve him. So just trying to kind of limit myself and my will um, and allowing God to just do his will and because he's you know God so he knows his will and I'm guessing at it grasping at straws I feel like at sometimes I'm um, but this class is definitely opening me a, in a lot what a lot better ways to do that continual you know everyday life just you know getting to see God's will a little bit by a little bit yeah so we're excited to continue the journey and we'll keep you posted as we go in the midst of our everyday lives and uh, we hope you can see God in new ways in the midst of yours